Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I guess we have some pretty exciting stuff going on. I received a couple phone calls today from friends, one in Illinois and one in Georgia, and I just read another in Mississippi about the food stamps being shut off, not working. According to Associated Press, it is a computer computer update that uh, has gone amiss. Not sure if that's the case or not. We're in very odd times and many deceptions are floating around, many problems, many rumors, many hoaxes. However, when a mother or father walk into a grocery store and, you know, for whatever reason, they're uh, using food stamps, utilizing the food stamp system, which many Americans today have to in order to buy food. And that was because of the economy, the government, disabilities, many reasons, many reasons. We must not fault people for needing food stamps. But for whatever reason, they have needed these food stamps. And they've walked into their grocery stores this morning only to be turned away because the food stamp card is not working. That is unsettling. People are leaving grocery carts full of groceries in the store because they don't have the means to purchase the food. This should alarm each and every one of us. It takes me back to a video that I did some time ago when I spoke to everybody about the stone soup story. I'm a firm believer in stone soup. I'm not afraid and I'm not worried. I'm certainly not. And to those people that are concerned right now and frightened, I say don't be afraid. We knew this was coming. We've all talked about preparing. We've got preppers out here in mass number telling us about dehydrating food and canning food and stocking food and storing food. They've given us great tips. We have people out in the wild showing us how to pick berries and mushrooms and roots and plants that are edible and flowers that are edible. Now, I'm not recommending that you go out in your backyard and start eating the greens because there's some stuff out there that certainly is not good for you, can be dangerous and can be fatal. But I do recommend that you get a book that will show you the natural foods that are available to us out in the wild because we never know if someday we may need them. Maybe we'll be traveling through the forest and our car breaks down and we're left there for days on end without help and we'll need to know how to survive. It's only common sense. Now stone soup, that's another story. We live in communities. We live elbow to elbow. Houses right next door from one another. Some people out in the rural areas, maybe a mile apart. Two miles, three miles. Some are lucky enough to be even further apart. Or at least that's what I would have said at one time. Now I think it would be greater to have your neighbors close. So stone soup. If you have hungry children, Swallow your pride. Knock on your neighbor's door. Borrow a carrot from one, a potato from another, an onion from another. Maybe you've got celery in your fridge drawer. Maybe you've got a can of canned chicken or beef or pork or even a can of tuna. Hopefully you've stayed away from the tuna. Zanzibar would have told you about that. But just the same, my friends and family. 
We're coming up in times where we need to work together. It truly is about we the people. It's not hard to make a good wholesome soup. All it takes is a few vegetables. Everybody pitching in. One carrot, one potato, one beet, one turnip, one parsnip, little bit of celery, or whatever. Throw it in a big pot. Start a fire on a little campfire outside in your backyard. Set the pot on it and bring it to a boil. Take a few pinches of seasoning. You'll get it. And feed those babies. Feed those children. Share with your neighbors. Work together. Whatever is going on, it is alarming, and it is frightening. It's concerning. It, it certainly is. It appears to me that Barry, and you know who I'm talking about, just doesn't want this nonsense to end. He does not want to negotiate. That concerns me. Perhaps part of the plan is that America does fall. So swallow your pride, Americans. Swallow your pride. Let go of the hand-me-down nonsense. Let's go back to the times when families had soup kitchens in their town. And people stood in lines to get that bowl of soup. Maybe a broken piece of bread. We can do that in our own neighborhoods. We can work together and ensure that everybody has a little bit of soup, a little bit of bread. And if that's what it comes to, we can do it. As for the people who have lost their food stamps for whatever reason, whether it's nationwide, whether it's just a few states, Right now, to the best of my knowledge, what I've heard is Illinois, Georgia, and Mississippi. I can say that for a fact. Is it the East Coast? Is it in the, the entire United States? Who knows? But for those of you that have not needed food stamps, or those of you that have stockpiled don't be afraid to share a handful of rice with a neighbor. Make sure the children are fed, the disabled, the seniors, the men, the women. It is about us. They've never cared. They really haven't. And those freebies, all those freebies, the free cell phones, the free this, the free that. The offer will probably be made that you can go to a camp to get your food. Choose your own soup kitchens over the camp, my friends. Beware, be cautious. Work together. Go back through my videos, no better yet. I'll put the link down below in the show more, so right down below. In the show more, I will put the link to the story about Stone Soup. It's us, guys. It's us. And we're good people. There's no reason for any child to go to bed hungry. Not in America. We take care of each other. I love you all. Great big hugs. Keep those smiles going. And count your carrots. Be prepared to share. It only takes one for a good soup. And one potato. Think about it. I love you all. I'll catch you guys later.